Should I post videos of my cheating boyfriend in our family group chat? So I, 24, have been with my, 25, um, boyfriend for six years. Six years we have built a life together, grown together, done everything together. He recently had to move away for a job, and I have felt uneasy about the move. He also happened to make friends with a girl of 20s F. I guess you can see where this is going. I have felt uncomfortable with their friendship from the start. We have argued about her, I have made him unfollow her. I have gone through their messages and the whole time he has gaslit me, called me controlling, painted me as insane and insecure to both our families. It has caused great emotional distress to me and strained my relationship with his mother which used to be great. Through all his gaslighting I even went to therapy to understand why I felt so awful about him being friends with this girl. Whether it was unresolved issues around the move, the physical distance between us, the fact that she sort of looks like another girl who had caused problems for us etc. Ike. My boyfriend is also very good looking, and very much into training, has a very chiseled body, gets a lot of attention etc. I also get a lot of attention, but I am a more private person and go out less so get it nowhere near as much as him despite us being comparatively equal looks wise. So after about two months of therapy I get a DM on Instagram. It's a throwaway all to count. No followers. And it's a screen recording of this girl's OnlyFans. Didn't even know she had an account, it's not under her real name or attached to any of her socials, but I can see her face and know it's her. And she's doing content with my boyfriend. His face isn't in it, but I know his body, I know what he looks like, the noises he makes, the way he does stuff. I've been with him for six years. There's a video of her giving him head, a video of her taking back shots, a bunch of lewd slash nudes of both of them, a bunch of graphic pictures of facials. Just so much stuff. All in all it's like a seven minute long screen recording. No message was sent with it. Just the recording. I have no idea who it was or why they sent it. The OF account is only a month old. He moved away the start of January. I don't know how long they've been having sex for, or how the fuck they progressed to doing omelfins together. But it's insane. Six years thrown away for a girl he's known for a few months. And to do it in such an egregious way, to be blatant enough to film himself and put it on the fucking internet. It's disgusting. Painting me out to be insane, making me go to therapy, ruining my reputation within both our families, the whole time he's been fucking lying, and filming himself cheating on me. He has been spending more money than usual. Going away, traveling, partying, going to restaurants with his new friends, buying designer clothes etc. I was under the impression he was working a lot, but nope. Probably just got some extra cash doing fucking porn with some fucking tramp. I hate him so much. He's a piece of shit. I hate what he did to me and us. I want to just post the screen recording in our joint family group chat. Let them all know I'm not fucking crazy, he's just a fucking piece of shit. I if this is revenge porn. I mean, it's already on the internet, posted willingly. I don't even know if I care. I want him to suffer, I want him to hurt, to feel humiliated. I fucking hate him. Ada, I'm going to bed. And as it's been said 1000x I'm just going to let you all know. I googled it, and under law where I live, it isn't under the umbrella of revenge porn, as it was willingly posted to the internet by him himself. It is considered copyright infringement at worst, but is a civil matter, not criminal. And even then, I didn't actually leak the content whoever sent it to me did. He might be able to get me on copyright laws, but like I said that would be a civil matter, the worst I'd get is a fine, if even that. Still I'll see how I feel in the morning. Comments. L3XG. I wouldn't do it, I would tell them he is cheating and doing porn, and you have proof, if he denies it, and they want the proof that I would send it, but just to blast it in the group chat isn't cool to your family. It sucks but good guys don't do what he did. You're free and you didn't get married or have kids with him. It hurts but you dodged a bullet, and he lost his amazing GF. He's trash but she didn't take your man, she took your problem. Fit Guitar 4346. He's trash but she didn't take your man, she took your problem. This. Isaisley. Don't post the video, just tell in the group that you know about the OF, and if he tries to deny tell you have the video. Then end the relationship. Cut ties with his family.
and go live a happy life. By baby 369. This is the only solution, op don't go overboard, or you'll give your gaslighting psycho X more fuel to turn it around on you. Just be matter of fact stick with facts and you'll get through this. Sorry you experienced this you deserve so much better. Chocolate Beautiful 95. I don't think you're a piece of shit, you're just extremely hurt and feel betrayed. Sharing the porn video would be a mistake IML, but letting the family know about it wouldn't. Just tell them he's been making porn and cheating on you and cut all ties. I hearse one it. This here is best. If he's in these group chats, just drop a message in saying you know about him doing OnlyFans videos. You're through and then drop out. Some relevant info. 1. Did you ever have any idea he had cheated? I had no idea he cheated. Ever. I had one girl he used to work with at his last job. The one who looks like she could be a twin of this current girl, messaged me, and claimed she was fucking him. But she had literally no proof. Not a single text, not a photo, not a screenshot, not a phone call record, nor a single person willing to corroborate what she said. He had a plethora of work colleagues tell me the girl was obsessed with him, and a little crazy and most likely lying. I chose to believe my boyfriend of, at the time, five years. She ended up quitting work and moving 80 plus miles away with her reputation in ruins and everyone at their job treating her like she had the plague. That poor woman was probably looking out for me and I was so horrible to her. Two, this all happened very quickly. How did you get a therapist so soon? I had already had a therapist who I had been with for three years. I felt like I was in a good place mentally to say goodbye to her in December. I got back in touch mid-January when I felt my mental health deteriorating again. I honestly have no idea if I am actually severely mentally ill or if I have just been psychologically tortured by this piece of human shit. Free, you seem a little unhinged, you sure you're not crazy? I have always had some mild OCD as well as fairly bad anxiety, hence me going out much less than him. That is what he used to paint me as insane. When I say he gaslit me, I mean it in the purest definition of the word. He literally used my history of mental suffering to paint me as literally insane. Oh, it's your OCD. You're ruminating about this girl. Your anxiety is getting really bad. It's just because I'm not around. Stuff like that. 4. Why would you want to subject his family to that? I don't. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was in pain, I have never felt rage like that. It would have been wrong. Even if he deserved it, which he absolutely did, fuck him, they did not. 5. How can you be certain she knows about you? She could also be a victim? Lol. No even. No. She's a fucking piece of shit home wrecking whore who deserves the worst. I am listed as in a relationship with him on his social media, which she follows, she purposefully did not accept my own follow requests, probably because she has been posting him there too. Oh and I also found her Twitter, which isn't private, and she has been liking tweets about sneaky links and that sort of stuff for around a month now, which was fueling my instincts. Three days ago, she liked a tweet saying, why is sex so much better when it's with someone it's not supposed to be with? She is a literal fucking tramp. And proud of it. Update. So I slept on it, woke up about two hours ago to him posting holiday pictures in the family GC right now. I had my suspicions, but I got my cousin to follow the girl on IG, she is private, and she just so happens to be in the same country he is right now, LMFO. What a coincidence. Yup. They're both in Paris as we speak. How romantic. I did what many Redditors suggested. I used a text template made by one of you, thank you so much, because if I had tried to send that text, I'd have come across as unhinged. I said, hello guys, I've recently had a video leaked to me that shows X having sex and performing various other intimate acts with another woman. I didn't think it would be appropriate to share such a video here, but I will provide it as asked. This woman, specifically, is the one I had been concerned about for a while and we was actually all lead to to think I was crazy for suspecting that something more was going on between them. It's distressing to find out that I was right. I'm sad that X could do something so disgusting, and I'm sad that I didn't trust my gut.
Despite us being together six years, this man has shown himself to be an utterly vile human being, who has betrayed my trust and hurt me deeply. I was committed to him whilst he was sneaking around behind my back and calling me insecure for my gut instincts. He twisted the knife again and again and tried to ruin my reputation with you all, whilst knowing he wasn't telling the truth the entire time. This is the end, and I want you all to know why in case he decides to lie again. Also he is most likely with her in Paris as we speak, as followed the girl, and they just so happen to be in the same country right now. Here is all the proof. I love you all, and I think what hurts the most more than this, more than the money wasted on therapy, more than the cheating, is that not a single one of you had my back. Here is the attached evidence. Don't worry, nothing graphic. But I have plenty of truly horrible videos and pictures if any of you still don't trust that I'm not insane. Please just give me some space and do not reach out for now. I then attach the screenshots of her Instagram story, which show them in the same club in Paris at the same time. A screenshot of the video, which takes place in his room, with me scribbling out the explicit stuff on my iPhone editor thing, along with a side-by-side -side comparison of a picture I took after I had finished decorating his room with him, and a lewd picture of him topless, which I think best proves it's him slash his body. I then left the group chat. Within 10 minutes he started calling, so I blocked him everywhere. His mom texted me saying, I'm so sorry I love you so much, and always will, call if you need anything, I'll give you your space sweetheart, but please do not hesitate to call me anytime I love you like my own, please know that, which honestly turned me into a fucking wreck. His little sister, who is 20, and who is amazing, turned up and just hugged me. She didn't even say anything we just both sat here cried. She said, I hope I don't lose you, when she left and hugged me again. I told her she never would. Honestly, I'm a mess right now. My parents are at work, and unlikely to see the mess until at least lunchtime if then. That's basically it. Thank you for everyone who took the time out of your day to message me and comfort me. Thank you for talking me out of doing something truly disgusting to the people who I do still love. They would not have disturbed to see what I had to see. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep I think. I only slept like three hours last night. Update 2 Holy fuck so I've just been informed by his sister, he has blocked his mum and sister, after they both chastised him in the GC, and has now proudly displayed the link to the OF in his Instagram bio. Glad I helped him to be his unapologetic self. Hope his new career choice goes well. Fucking loser. I still haven't heard from my parents yet, they get out of work around 5 to 6, but his mom has said I'm welcome to go and hang out with her as she doesn't want me to be alone. I'm going to get ready now, and just go watch some maths AUS, maybe have a cheeky glass of wine. That was our little thing. Just because he's choosing to throw away this amazing group of people our parents and our sisters, doesn't mean I have to do the same. Family is who is there for you in your time of need, and they are the family I choose. He can choose his OF whore if he wants. Good riddance. At least I won't have to see him when I hang out with his mom slash sis. Update 3 So I went to his mom's place and sat there with her and his sister watching maths. We didn't really talk about anything, just had a glass of wine and watched TV. Eventually I said I wanted to go to the toilet, and I decided to go into his old room, and everything just got too much. So many memories. So many moments that I had cherished so much, so long spent laying there just hanging out and stuff. I had a really bad panic attack, and ended up just breaking down and I felt like I was going to faint. They came up and checked on me and we all just sat in his room crying. This may sound pathetic, and I'd love to pretend I'm some boss babe, but honestly I don't think I've ever felt so lost and broken in my life. I love that man. Like I really, really, really loved him with my whole heart. I had since the day I met him. I can't believe it's over. It doesn't even feel like a breakup, it feels like the love of my life has just died. Like it feels like a death. I feel mom. It got too much and his mom drove me home once my parents had finished work. Our sisters went and picked up my car while his mom spoke to my parents. I think I was in a state of shock I couldn't speak, everything just sounded muffled like I was underwater. I fell to sleep and only just woke up now. 
It's 11.39, everyone is in bed, and I'm wide awake. I truly feel lost. Part of me wants to call him, to cry, to beg him to find a way to make everything okay, to tell me it isn't true, to turn back time. I know that's stupid, I know I deserve better, but I've spent every week of my life with him since the day we met. I don't know how to exist without him. I feel like I can't breathe. I just want this all to be a bad dream. Comments. At Trivia 24. Bruh I have OCD and everyone knows it. This is cruel on the highest level. Not knowing if you're being paranoid or not, having friends and family tell you you're overreacting, and you believe them because you know you have a tendency to overthink, but you still can't shake the nagging feeling, and it makes you feel like shit. And he knew all of that, and took advantage of it. It's almost worse than the cheating itself, it's so so cruel. Houndstooth Reader. Yes, trying to make someone doubt their own perception of reality. To believe, they must be crazy. Gaslighting is evil. Sprila, she made another update, posting below. Update 2. Holy fuck so I've just been informed by his sister, he has blocked his mom and sister. After they both chastised him in the GC, and has now proudly displayed the link to the OF in his Instagram bio. Glad I helped him to be his unapologetic self. Hope his new career choice goes well. Fucking loser. I still haven't heard from my parents yet, they get out of work around 5 to 6, but his mom has said I'm welcome to go and hang out with her as she doesn't want me to be alone. I'm going to get ready now, and just go watch some maths AUS, maybe have a cheeky glass of wine. That was our little thing. Just because he's choosing to throw away this amazing group of people our parents and our sisters, doesn't mean I have to do the same. Family is who is there for you in your time of need, and they are the family I choose. He can choose his OF whore if he wants. Good riddance. At least I won't have to see him when I hang out with his mum slash sis. Mmm biscuiti. Wow she handled that well. Good for her, hope she gets over him and moves on. Sunny writer. Reddit is such a great place, and sometimes awful place, to get advice, whether it's because it's an outside perspective, a person who has been through what you are, and can relate slash have experience to share, or even finding the words to say. I joke that it is the best and the worst of humanity. OOP replies. She's already doing way better than I would have at her age. Glad she didn't post the video and give him wiggle room to be vindicated by her actions. Gotta love Reddit for stopping her from making a big mistake. I am the knight. Assuming this is real, and it honestly doesn't seem that unrealistic given the fact that OOP is open about her own mental health issues, and the fact that she can be in her own head and obsessive, I'm glad she didn't post the video. That wouldn't have added anything that her message didn't end up conveying on its own, and would have just been shocking to the family. Anyway, I hope she finds someone who actually treats her well. Her ex was clearly garbage. Deleted, best of luck to you, glad you were able to share in the group chat and them not be assholes to you. Ruval, that guy's entire world is about to blow sky high. You love to see it. Soft rough 8721. Oh hell yeah, dude has no idea what's coming. Severe double 1113. You came out of this with your dignity intact, that more than you can say for your ex. Good for you. It hurts now, but in six months, a year, you will still be the one who didn't roll in the mud. I'm proud of you. Milkshake revenge. Absolutely. Six months from now, Op will be able to hold her head up proudly. Her ex will forever be embarrassed for this. She absolutely did the right thing, and everyone around her knows, even his own family. That's huge. Ematic 708. The content creator herself actually dropped this bomb on you, Op. She is the one behind the Anon. Intrepid links. Yeah, that was my first thought too. Most likely she wants him all to herself and not to be the side chick anymore and sent the video so Op breaks up with him. Happy Gaklaus. Maybe the content creator wasn't just looking like the other chick he allegedly banged, but was actually her. Like, this time I do have proof. Desile. I'm really sorry you had to go through that ordeal but I'd like to say as an internet strange I'm proud of you for navigating the situation with grace and keeping your dignity intact. It's going to be a hard few weeks possibly filled with some self-doubt, but give yourself time to heal and continue therapy, enjoy the things you love with the people who love you, 
and remind yourself daily that you deserve and can do better. Wishing you all the best going forward op. Okay Confusion 5952. To be honest I went through something not dissimilar, with someone I was with, for a much shorter time when I was younger though, and it fucked me up for about a year and a half, not a few weeks. It's been over three years now and I'm very functional but still not at all active romantically slash sexually. I think people massively underestimate how damaging this type of abuse is if they haven't experienced it themselves.